Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Dish Upon a Star. My name is Samantha and this week we're sticking with the Hocus Pocus theme and I decided not to do a dessert from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. We're doing an original dessert this week. This week I'm teaching you how to make Winifred Sanderson's Spellbinding Brownies. These spooky treats are sure to catch your eye and will definitely be a hit at your Halloween party. Let's get started. We're starting our brownies with unsweetened chocolate and unsalted butter. So for our chocolate and butter, we're using a double broiler and I'll show you what that is. Basically, I just take a little saucepan, fill it with some water, boil it and put a mixing bowl on top. So it looks just like this. You want the water to not touch the bottom of the bowl. Now when you're using a double broiler, it's important to use a metal bowl and also you wanna make sure it's super clean and super dry on the inside. Any sort of moisture or water inside that touches the chocolate, it's gonna make your chocolate seize up and get really dry and crumbly and we don't want that. We want nice, smooth, creamy chocolate in our brownies. Place your chocolate and butter in the bowl and stir to melt. Once everything is melted and nice and smooth, remove from the broiler and add sugar, eggs, and vanilla. Stir to combine. In a separate bowl, mix flour, cocoa powder, baking powder, and salt, and mix together with a whisk. Then you're gonna fold your dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and set that aside while we prepare our pan. Spray your pan with cooking spray and line it with a sheet of parchment paper. Pour the brownies into the pan and spread evenly with a spatula. Then we're gonna bake at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. I used a smaller pan than I originally thought I was going to use to make these brownies and I was able to make four large brownies out of it. I cut them into four equal-ish sized rectangles and I trimmed the ends. I used vanilla frosting and a large flat tip to ice the spine of the book and then I switched to a small round tip to put the snake on the spine as well as the charm surrounding the eyeball. The eyeballs are sprinkles from Wilton. I cut a hole in a pastry bag and filled it with chocolate frosting and I drew the seams. I then used more vanilla frosting to pipe the stitches. Here we go. They are all done. And I think they look pretty good. What do you think, Eddie? They look great. Okay, you can have a bite. You go first. Mmm. Good stuff? Mm-hmm. So now I'll try mine. Mmm. They're really chewy in the middle mm. and soft. But like crispy edges. You love to see it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and tell us what your favorite Disney Halloween movie is. Thank you so much. Have a magical day.